Playwright MCP server and Cursor can help you automate building application and testing it. And here is Cursor where you can see it's automatically opening the browser, clicking the required element and it automatically fills required fields, testing the application while building it. This is more advanced using the power of AI. I'm going to take you through step by step how you can set up your Playwright MCP, create an application, set up browser testing and create automation script. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. First, when we see the drawback of manual testing, it's time consuming, error prone, costly and scaling issues. But with the benefit of AI powered automation, you have consistent results, increased coverage, faster feedback and self healing tests. Generally for setting up a playwright test, it requires creating many files, organizing the project and writing the code. Even when we write the code manually, it takes time. But with the power of cursor and playwright, all these steps can be made faster. So first go to cursor.com and download the editor. First step, we need to configure playwright MCP. So go to settings at the top, click on that. There you can go to MCP, clicking MCP. So if you edit the configuration, you can see that I'm adding only this. I'll put all the code in the description below. You can also get the same code from Playwright MCP GitHub. There you got that here. But instead of latest, you can add the number. That is the version number. Adding vision allows it to view through the browser. Without vision, it can navigate to elements. It's like a headless version. So once after you save that in the settings, you can double check by turning it off and turning it on. And you should see a green color status with all these tools. So this shows that your Playwright MCP installed successfully. If you find any issues, you can even restart this cursor application. So step number two, we are going to create our application. So in this case, I'm going to say create a Next.js application. It's a to do list application, modern look with user login, username, admin and password as password. But this is only for testing purpose, but I don't recommend this admin and password. Then clicking send. Now it started creating the required files and I'm accepting those changes. Now I can see all the files got created and it's giving me instruction to start running the application. But I'm not going to run this application. Instead, I'm going to ask our Playwright MCP server. Use Playwright MCP server to view the application and test it. Going to click enter. Now it's running the required terminal commands. Now you can see it failed to start the application. And against that, you can see the browser here. It didn't start. So it's trying to identify the issue. It found the issue that the server didn't start properly. And then it restarted the server. If I want to see the terminal, I can even click move to background to see how the terminal commands are running here. So here you can see, and here's the to do application. So I'm not controlling anything. Cursor is automatically navigating. So you can see all the commands here. It's opening the localhost 3000. Now it's trying to add information here. It's automatically getting a screen capture. You can see the capture here and then it identified that it's not entering the password correctly. And now it's trying to fix the issue. I can see credentials error. Sometime it might stop after 25 two calls. So you can resume the conversation. So it's trying to restart the application. If it stops, just type continue. Now you can see it's automatically fixing the issue and entering the right username and the password and it logged in successfully. And here you can see the to-do list application. Now it's going to do further testing. You can see all the checks here, clicking items and capturing items. So now it's going to test the apps features. So it's trying to add a new task here and that is successful. It's capturing the image and confirming that the test is successful. Now deleted that task and testing the deletion process. Now trying to check the logout functionality and it logged out from the browser. So you can see that parallelly here. So this is one of the most advanced automation using the power of AI. Next, I'm going to say write playwright scripts so I can run these tests by myself. Now it's writing me the test of navigating to those pages, entering those items with clear documentation on how we can test it. So you can see the step-by-step -step process here. This is really nice. 
So overall, I'm really impressed. Even if any UI changes happen, you can ask cursor to navigate to those pages again using this MCP playwright and then update this test code again. Do let me know in the comments below what you think about this. Considering you already like MCP server and cursor, I also created another video about how you can create cursor application just for beginners. I'll put the link in here and I highly recommend for you to watch and I will see you there.